Welcome back. We're checking our DC Pulse, getting a look at the top stories our DC Bureau is working on for you today. A group of Senate Republicans led by our own Senator Marsha Blackburn is pushing a bill to further distance federal funding from abortion services. Four million low-income Americans depend on Title X funding, which, as Washington correspondent Jesse Turnper reports, provides everything from STD to cancer screenings to birth control and abortions. On the campaign trail, President Trump promised to defund Planned Parenthood. His administration added a new rule in February that would block federal funding under the Title X Family Planning Program to clinics that perform abortions or provide abortion referrals. Physically and financially separate your, quote, family planning services from your abortion services. In April, a federal judge stopped the regulations from taking effect while lawsuits make their way through the courts. The majority of patients that Title X serves are people of color, Hispanic and Latino. And so the rule imposes yet another level of discrimination. But now the push has moved from the courts to Congress. We want to make certain that that money goes to women's health care and does not go to pay for abortions. This week, Tennessee Senator Marsha Blackburn introduced a bill with some of her Republican colleagues that would turn the Trump rule into law. Blackburn wants to divert the federal funds from clinics like Planned Parenthood to community health centers across the country. They also say, why should it go to an abortion clinic when we're the ones that provide the health care checkups? Planned Parenthood has always maintained that its clinics do not use federal money for abortions, but for other services like STD and cancer screenings and low-cost birth control. In Washington, I'm Jesse Tenor. And as President Trump rule, his rule hangs in the balance, Blackburn and other GOP senators will work to gather support around the bill before an anticipated vote in the fall.